hey guys welcome back today i am gonna show you guys how i take down my crochet braids i've had this in for about two weeks it does not look too bad but i think i am ready to get rid of all that hair it is it's a lot um so here i'm just figuring out how i'm gonna take it down and then i will get started for me it's pretty easy i simply go in with a pair of scissors and i feel for the knots and i just go in and i will cut off um, the braids as closely to the my actual hair as possible so here you need to be really careful don't go too close um, but once you feel where the knot is where you crocheted the braid it is pretty easy to know exactly where to chop it off And here you're getting kind of an up-close view of what I'm doing. I am filling for the knot where I secured the crochet and I'm just loosening it up and pulling it loose. Um, it's pretty easy. I repeat the steps um, until I have done pretty much all the hair the same way. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulty so I am going on the hunt for a new pair of scissors and I'm gonna go in a little quicker um, than I did before I'm starting to look real rough y'all <laughs> um, and I just repeat the steps all over until I have all this hair um, done I still have on my nails so it's a little difficult to work with the um, press-ons they are press-ons they're not actual gel nails done in the salon I did it myself in case you were wondering and I will continue loosening up the crochet from my braided hair and until I have done that all over the hair now like I said you have to be a little careful I feel for the knot and I cut it as closely as possible where it's safe enough to pull it off Once I've taken out all the crochet, I fill for the actual strand of my braided hair and as you can see, I am detangling that with a comb. You can get any comb, there's no specific one for use, just any one that you're comfortable using and I just unbraid the hair. I'm giving you a little view of the back some people ask me like how do you do the back honestly you just feel it you know your head pretty well and I just detangle the hair like I did before just keep repeating the steps all over the head I make sure that I detangle the hair as I go so it doesn't get knotted or it doesn't um, shrink before I can um, twist it and keep it straightened as I continue to unravel the hair. I am due for a trim so I need to get that trimmed. I have never trimmed it myself but I am open to trying and I just twist that and make sure that it is secured before I move on to the rest of the hair and we continue the process This is the last one for the road, y'all, and I am ready for this to be over. The real time took me about 40-something minutes, which is quite long, but I also have the nails which are preventing me from being as fast as I normally am, and I am all done and tired. <laughs> but yeah, so this is my hair free from all that crochet braid. Yay. 
and now I'm just slicking it back and I am not adding any product because I will deep condition later and I'm just smoothing it out my hair is fully natural not relaxed I'm using a brush and I am just gonna put everything back in a bun um, at the back until I am ready to wash, deep condition, trim, and recrochet my hair. So, this is what it's looking like. I am very pleased. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.